parametric graphing the baseball problem on the new TI-84C. Baseball is hit when the ball is two and a quarter feet above the ground, leads the bat with an initial velocity of 148 feet per second and an angle of elevation of 23.2 degrees. 2.5 mile per hour wind is blowing in the horizontal direction against the batter. An 18 foot high fence is 395 feet from home plate. What we want to find out is it a home run? Does the ball hit the fence? Does the ball short of the fence? What's the maximum height? All these other different questions. That's what we want to find out. All right, let's uh, first look at the mode here. You can see that I'm in degree mode, which I need to be, and also instead of being in function mode, I'm in parametric mode. Let's go to y equals. And since I'm in parametric mode, I have x1t and y1t. Uh, the first one in blue is the equation of the fence. The fence is 395 feet away, and uh, the 18 foot high fence is there, and I'm going to plot this for five seconds. So there's where x1t and y1t came from. X2T and Y2T are equations that describe uh, the path of the ball. And the 148 came from the initial velocity. The 23.2 was the initial angle of elevation. <clears throat> the 2 and a quarter is the initial height. And I had to change 2.5 miles per hour to feet per second. So that's where the minus 3.67T came from. And you can't see at the end, but there's also something for gravity minus 16T squared to pull it down for gravity. So let's go ahead and graph this. There's the fence in blue. There's the path of the ball in red. And I put the rest of it in green for grass, I guess. And as you can see, it clearly is a home run. But we'd like to see the ball maybe more as a ball. So if I go back to y equals and go down to y2 and over to the left, let's change that style here. The line style could be just a ball. And now we'll go ahead and graph it. And there's the fence. And there's the flight of the ball. And that's all well and good. However, I think I'd like to see the flight of the ball with the path showing also. So let's go all the way over there. And I think that was the one be whoops, sorry, we should keep it red. Down to the line style. And there's the path, the ball with the path. So we'll go ahead and graph that. There's the fence, and we see the flight of the ball there. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trace to some time values. So I'm going to go uh, to trace and go to x2, y2. And first of all, I'd like to say what happens exactly at one second. So if I trace to t equals one second, we can see that the ball is 132.3 or 4 feet horizontally away from the batter and about 44 and a half feet high. Another question we could answer is how high did the ball go? What's the maximum height? And about 55 and a half feet might be good. And how long did it take to do that? That would be about 1.8 seconds. Um, how much does the ball clear the fence by? So right about at 395, 397, it's about 33 feet, which is um, about 15 feet above the fence. It happened about at three seconds. And when? how long is the ball in the air? Well, it's about. 3.7 seconds, and it traveled almost 490 feet in the air. So those are the type of questions you can answer graphically, and then you can go ahead and solve this algebraically, and this is a great visual, and I think the color and the different styles help to see this pretty well.